Hey guys, welcome to your very first eGeek Go tutorial on how to make awesome websites for free using WordPress. Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your very own micro blogging website like Twitter in just a matter of minutes. Now before we do that you first need to register for a free WordPress account by going to wordpress.com. So you just click on the get started button here follow the instructions, enter your details, they'll send you a confirmation email, click on that and then your account set up. I want to keep this video short though so I'm not going to show you how to do that but it's really straightforward so go ahead and do it and um, obviously press pause um, and then come back to this page when you're done. So that didn't take long um, so by now you should have um, an email account or username um, attached to your wordpress.com account um, so just go ahead and type in your username and your password and then that should take you to your reader page now we don't really want the reader page at this stage. We're going to go to my blogs. Now, as you can see, I've got a number of blogs here. Um, you can have as many as you like, um, but we're just going to focus on creating a micro blogging site. So I'm going to use the one that I've named eGeek Forum. So I'm going to choose that. You choose the blog you've just created. Um, and then we can see what it looks like. Now, WordPress will just give you a default theme to start off with. Most of the time, these are quite plain. Um, this is a theme called Reddle, um, which is it's fine um, if you want to do a regular blog. But for what we want to do, um, it's really not very good. So what we need to do is just change this theme. So if you go to the top left of your page um, and where your blog name is, you just hover over that and you'll get a drop down menu. Now, what you want to do is just go to the dashboard which will take you to the back end of your blog um, and this is where all your settings and things are. So what you want to do is go to appearance um, and when you hover over appearance um, you will see a little menu comes out at the side or if you click on it then the menu will appear underneath. Um, but either way we want to go to the themes option. So here we can see this is the um, current theme that we've got and then there are 210 other themes that you can choose from. Most of these are free um, but some of them are premium. Some of them you do have to pay for and you do get some nice features with those but luckily for what we're doing we don't need a premium theme so we just go ahead and choose um, the right theme for us. So we're not going to waste our time sort of scrolling through we're just going to search for the theme we want because we know its name. It's called P2 so just go ahead and type that in and then hit search. Now the P2 theme will appear um, so just click activate and that's now the theme that's installed on your site. Now what you can do is you can actually customize that so just click on customize now this is a good way to do it because you can actually see what your page looks like as you make changes to it. Now custom design you can't use if, you got, if you're doing this for free um, so just leave that. What you can do though is you can play around with the colours. Um, now I was playing around with this earlier so I've already selected some different colours at the moment. Yours is probably going to look, let's see like this because these are the defaults okay but you can play around with it you can change your header to red you can change your background to yellow whatever you want I like the blue that I chose earlier though so I'm gonna just choose that okay now another thing that you can do is you can actually change your background image so instead of just having the plain color there you could upload a photograph if you wanted to um, but we're not going to do that. Um, okay, menus, we've only got one page so there is just one menu um, and that's going to bring up the page for our microblogging site. You can add in other pages if you want to um, but we'll look at that in another tutorial. Um, your front page, again, that's just always going to show your latest posts unless you've got extra pages that you want to have. So we can ignore that for now. Um, the other thing that we can do though is we can change uh, the title of our site 
So eGeek Forum sounds a little bit formal. Um, so I don't know. I'd, I'm not too keen on it. So I'm going to change that to something that sounds a little more, a little bit more interesting. So because it's a microblog, I'm going to call it Micro Geek, and then for the tagline, well, my awesome blog. Well, yeah, it is pretty awesome. But I want something a little bit more fun. Um, so as it's a micro blog, I'm going to call it blogging for tiny people. OK, now you can actually get rid of that header text if you don't want to show it. Um, but then you can't see the title. Um, you might want to do that if you wanted to have a picture up here instead. But we're not going to worry about that today. OK, so we'll just display our header text. Save. And that's us done. So um, just go if you just go back, and then if you want to go and have a look at your forum, um, there it is. Okay, so this is how it looks. A little bit like Twitter, you can put in status updates, you can put blog posts in there, you can put quotes in there, you can link to your favourite um, video tutorials on YouTube if you want to. Um, you can add photographs in there, whatever you like. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and type a post. So it says, hi, GK, what you up to? I'm having a blast with my new blue blog. And I'm going to tag it as micro blog. So um, I don't want to be notified by follow-ups by email so I'm just going to post that okay now that should appear in a moment where it says recent updates that post should just appear down here and there it is now if you have um, a lot of friends that you want to share your site with then they can leave a reply to you um, but obviously I don't have any friends, so I'm talking to myself. And then reply. And there you go, and the reply appears underneath, and you can see that any replies are indented slightly. Um, somebody else can reply to this, and it will be indented even more, or if they wanted to reply to the first one, so cancel that reply then it's going to be at the um, same level but anyway you kind of get the idea so that's pretty much it guys um, have fun with your micro blogging website get all your friends to join in um, and I will see you next time for some more awesome tutorials on how to create your free websites using wordpress.com um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, because it is going to be awesome.